Hallelujah. 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 Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loves me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our scripture reading today is taken from Psalms 133. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like a precious ointment upon the head that run down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirt of his garment. As the dew of hormones and as the dew that descended upon the mountain of Zion. For there the Lord command the blessing, evil life forevermore. Blessed is the word of the Lord, O God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Let's give God a praise this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's give God a praise this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. He set me free one day, he set me free. He broke the bars of prison for me. Someday in glory his face I shall see. Glory be to God, he set me free. He set me free. Sing a little louder 
louder than before. Everybody sing freedom, freedom. Everybody sing freedom, freedom. Everybody sing freedom, freedom. Everybody sing freedom, freedom. I wanna lift my hands higher than before. I wanna love you more than before. I wanna worship deeper than before. scream louder than before everybody sing free No more chains, no more bondage No more chains, no more bondage. I am free. Yeah. One more time, no more shackles, no more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free. No more chains, no more bondage. I am free. Yeah. No more shackles, no more 
chains no more shackles no more chains no more bondage i am free yeah no more shackles no more chains no more shackles no more chains no more bondage i am free yeah no more shackles no more chains no more shackles no more chains no more bondage i am free yeah. and come on and give him the highest praise this morning hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Hallelujah, Shout hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
I'm sending it directly to God. When I say hallelujah, when I say hallelujah, I'm sending it directly to God. So, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. You, Jesus. you unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears are gone and no more longer a slave to fear for I am a child of God I'm no longer a slave to fear help me sing it this morning for I am a child come on let's do that together again everybody sing I'm no For I am a child of God. I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave to fear. For I am a child of God from my mother's womb. You have chosen me, love has called me by my name, and born again into your family, your blood flows through my veins, and I'm not to fear for I am a child of God come on let's sing it together this morning I'm no longer I'm no longer a slave to fear for I am a child for I am a child of God 
sing oh, 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 oh. Reigning King 
you, Jesus. Reigning King. Come on and sing it unto him this morning. Holy and righteous. Reigning King. Reigning King. Come on and give him the praise this morning. Come on and give him the praise this morning. Come on and give him the praise this morning. We give him all the praise this morning. We give him all the glory this morning. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. His kingdom is forever. His kingdom is everlasting. His ways is everlasting. His truth endure it through all generation. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He's the reigning king. He's Lord of all. He's Prince of Peace. He's God of all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, wave those hands to God this morning. Come on, wave those hands. Hallelujah. Can somebody just open your mouth and shout a praise to God? Come on, open your mouth and shout a praise. Come on, you can do better than that. Open your mouth and shout a praise to him this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the reigning king. He's the great I am. He's the mighty warrior. He's the bomb in Gilead. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, open your mouth and give God a shout this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, clap your hands unto God this morning. Come on, clap your hands unto God this morning. This is the day that he's made. We are rejoicing and are glad in it. Come on, clap your hands unto God this morning. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Receive Minister right as she comes with the welcome and announcements in Jesus' name. Come on, keep the praises rolling. Keep those praises rolling as she comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. The scripture that was read this morning, behold, our good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Thank you, praise team. I'm going to ask you to just turn to the person beside you and tell them welcome. Tell the other person welcome. Then you're going to get up now. We're going to move around, and we're going to greet each other. It's good to be in the house. Let us move around, saints, as we greet each other today. Hallelujah. It's good to see each other. Amen. Bless you, Pastor. We're going to sing our song also. Praise Glad to be in God's service. Glad to be in God's service. Glad to be in God's service. One more time. Maureen. Didn't have to make you live. Didn't. Come on, please greet the visitors. We got a lot of visitors this morning. Come on, get a let's greet the visitor. Come on, talk that let's greet our visitors. Glad to be God's servant. Yeah, man, they came to be with us today. Come on, let's greet our visitors. Glad to be God's service one more time.
great God. We serve a great, big, wonderful God. Always victorious. He's always watching over us. A great, big, and a wonderful God. Hallelujah. Good to be in the house this morning. It's good to see each other. Good to see my brothers and my sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, what a wonderful feeling to be in God's house. Amen. Amen. I want to move on with the announcements. We have a little extra announcements today, so I just to move on. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. A very warm welcome to all our saints present today, especially our visiting friends. And I have a few cards which I'll be reading in a, in a minute. To all our friends watching online, on Facebook, YouTube, those who are live and those who will be watching us on a delayed broadcast. We pray that our service will be a blessing to you today. It's my honor and privilege to greet our pastor, Pastor Robert Young. The lovely A.P. Young. Amen. Lady Erica Young. To Pastor Madeline Forbes. Good to have her back in the house. She was away. Glory. To Pastor Reyes. Amen. God bless Pastor Reyes for being here today. To all our ministers, leaders, and heads of department, we greet you today in the wonderful name of Jesus. All right, we have, I have some cards, and I'm going to go through them, and I'm going to ask you to stand as your name is being called. And this is True Sean Rowe. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. She was invited brother, by Brother Limar. Also, we have Bishop Dr. Johnny Rowe. Amen. Yes. Welcome, Bishop Rowe. We also have Jolly Ann Rowe. Ah, good to have you, ma'am. Amen. And they were invited by Brother Limar Johns. Bless the name of the Lord. Sister Donna Griffiths have her brother here, and his name is Howard Blackwood. Could you stand, please? Good to have you, sir. Amen. And um, Susanna Thomas invited Joy and Forrest Edwards. Her sister and her brother. Good to have you. It's a, it's a family affair today. Amen. And I think it's Edric Gonzalez. Amen. It's a family affair. Put all our visitors stand together. All our visitors, could you stand, please? As we want to give you a special Togak welcome. One, two, three. Let's put our hands together. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. We thank God for you all. Amen. On behalf of our pastor, Pastor Robert and Pastor Erica, and all the family here, welcome to Tabernacle of Glory Apostolic Church. Amen. amen. The Church of Warmth. Amen, amen, amen. Our annual Carriers of His Glory Prayer Conference will be held, amen, amen, will be held on June 6th through June, Saturday, June 8th, right here in Orlando, Florida. Please save that date. If you plan to stay at the Rose Hill Center Hotel, the payment for the hotel room must be made by May 6, 2024. Please see Pastor Erica after the service. All right, listen up for the speakers for this conference. Amen? Bishop Benjamin Carter, Bishop Odin James, Apostle Delroy Smith, Pastor Jason Dixon, Bishop John Baker, Pastor, Pastor Kenata McLeish. Amen, amen. So please save the date. And Roman Gordon. And Roman Gordon. 
and Roman Gordon. Oh. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for that. So please save the date. It is June 6th to June 8th. Hallelujah. This is going to be an amazing conference. Hallelujah. Are you looking forward to that conference? Let's, let, let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. All our young people are asked to indicate their interest in attending the ACI camp this year. Hallelujah. And um, the fine arts department, the youth department, and the Sunday school. We are starting our first fundraising effort today. And it is in the form of a cake sale. So tell the person beside you, you have to buy a slice of the cake. There are a variety of cake. You have to buy a slice of the cake. Tell somebody else, you have to buy. Because we are supporting one child, even one child to camp. Amen? So you need to buy a slice of the cake. Committee food sale next week. Food. Brother Glenn, back in Okay. Also, the Brotherhood Department will be helping us. On Saturday, we'll be also having a car wash sale. All for the kids. Okay, this Saturday. So take out your cars. It's all for camp. It's all for camp. So come out with your cars to be washed. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord, everybody. It's a together effort. All right? We're going to do it together for our children. Amen? As a church, we are reading through the Bible. Ask the person beside you, have you been reading? Have you been reading? All right. Encourage the person to let us go on the reading train. All right. For today, we are reading Psalm 7. We are, we are to read Psalm 7. Psalms 27, Psalm 31, Psalm 34, Psalm 52 today. So we still have time. Amen? Amen. Reading the Bible through is a life-changing experience. And all saints should try to do it, not just for, as an exercise, but as part of who we are as disciples of Christ. Amen. Tell the person, read your Bible. Pray every day. Amen. And we need to grow and we want to grow. Amen. Our annual women's conference. Let me say women's conference. Amen. Our annual Women Alliance Conference will be held from Thursday, April 25th to Saturday, April 27th at the Faith Temple Apostolic Church in Eagle Lake, Florida. The trip sheet is on the front desk. The cost to travel on the bus is $20 for all saints riding the bus each night. If we go both nights, it will be $40, and we will be attending both nights, Friday night and Saturday. The fee is required to ride on the bus. Amen. So make sure you have your $20. Amen. 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 And we are going. Amen. We are going, right? And our women's president will be coming afterwards to give us some more detail on this conference. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell the person beside it's a family affair. Tell somebody else it's a family affair. All right. May is family month. Amen. Amen. May is family month. Amen. If you have your child beside you, grab them a little closer. If you have your family member beside you, hug them a little tighter. May is family month. So get ready for some amazing teaching and family interaction. Amen. Also, the last Sunday, May 26th, will be Family and Friends Day. Amen? Amen. So that means we're going to take a family member no to church. No empty no seat. Amen. We're going to take a family member, and we're going to take our friends on that day. What day is it? May 26th. 
the final, the final Sunday in the month of May. Amen. And guess what? There will be prizes and surprises for the saints who invite the most family and friends to church on that Sunday. All right? So I know we have some competitive people in this church. So look out, look out, look out. Amen. Let me say next Sunday. Ask the person what you think going to happen next Sunday. Ask somebody what you think going to happen. All right, listen keenly. Next Sunday is a very special service. A visiting church will be coming to join us here. And the church is the track. They will be journeying from Tampa just to share in our service. Amen? So tell your friends. So tell your family. So tell your neighbor. Amen? Amen. Amen. A great time next week. Bless the name of the Lord. And guess what? There's more to come. On the fourth Sunday, which is the following Sunday, we'll be having another visitor. Amen? Amen. Let me hear you say barefoot. barefoot. Amen. <laughs> Kenyatta McLeish, hallelujah, will be preaching for us on that Sunday. Hallelujah. We are looking forward to it. Let me hear you say giving. We are a giving church. Say, I'm a giving person. So if you don't start, you have to start giving now, yeah? Amen. So we are a giving church. And um, next week, 30, all volunteers, you know yourself. We all know what we are supposed to do. So we'll have in our food bank next week, Saturday. And um, remember, you must come with your cars to wash. Amen. All right. Every Sunday morning, and this class is called the New Membership and Disciples class. They meet every Sunday morning. Let me hear them say, oh, all those who are a member of that class, say hallelujah. All the members of the new membership and disciples class. Could you stand, please? Let's shout hallelujah together. One, two. Amen. Pastor said it's the most exciting class in the, in the in, world. So you can't let him down Sorry, now. They can't let him down now. And so we have a new member. Sorry to interrupt. Sister Hightower just joined our class this morning. I want to give her her book for her to go home and study for her test. Can we give her a hand, everybody? So if you'd like to join the class, if you got baptized and you've never been to the class, it's a part of your journey process to become a disciple of Christ. Our statistics have shown in this church, those people who go through this class are the ones that stay in the church. Those who don't go to the class, History. Sister Kizzy did two years. Please stand. <laughs> Brother Glenn did two years. Please stand. Sister Nikki did two years in that class. Please stand. <laughs> I was getting to you, Simone. <laughs> All the people who stay grounded are the people who have been through this class. Because in this class, we teach you what it is to be a Christian. We hold you accountable, and that's why they're still here, because they know exactly what is expected of them, and they know what the church teaches. If you don't do this class, I guarantee you. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. All ministers and leaders will be, will be, hold plan, will be having their planning meetings this evening. There will be planning meetings this evening for all ministers and leaders. We want to go home early, so you're asked to be here at 6, 6 p.m. third for the quarter, for the second quarter, should be ready. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen? Hallelujah. All minister heads should have their gold sheets for the third quarter ready for presentation and review. Amen. Finally, all ATC has restarted its fifth class in this with this batch of students. 
It is not too late for those who have not signed up yet to sign up, all right? The topic at this, this module would be the introduction to the life of Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. The professor will be teaching this topic or this module will be Bishop Wayne Williams. Amen? The cost of this course is $150. And the registration for new students will be $75. Please see Pastor After Church for further information. If you just want to do this course alone, you can. You can go ahead and do it. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. The Francis family would like to express thanks to all the saints and friends and well-wishers of Tabernacle of Glory Apostolic Church for their love and support during the time of bereavement, loss, and grief. Thank you for going the extra mile to give of your time, comfort, words, gifts, love, and prayers. May God bless you from Sister Francis and sons and also from Pastor Forbes. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Let us continue to pray for our sick and our shut-ins. Hallelujah, Sister Marvella Lord, Sister Cecile Thompson, and Brother Hopeton Beckford. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, 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 glory. It's time for birthdays and anniversaries. Glory. So the birthday persons um, for the 18th of this month will be Sister Monique Barnes. If she's watching, happy birthday when it comes. Is Alana here? Alana's birthday would be on the 19th of April. These are the birthdays for this week coming. Any of our visitors celebrating a birthday? Oh, could you stand please? What date is your birthday? Sister Brissett. Could you stand please? We're going to pray for you, Sister Brissett. Could you come up, please? Saturday is her birthday, and we're going to pray for her. Hallelujah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Any, any of our visitors celebrating their birthday this week? All right. Could you turn around, Sister Brissett? Amen. Amen. Brother Glenn. Father, we thank you for your grace, for your goodness, and for your abundant blessing. We thank you for these souls who you have kept through the years, O oh God, and carried them through to see another year added to their life. May they be enriched with your wisdom. May they be filled with your spirit. May, O oh God, this year be an opening of the door to enlighten them into the path that they should take to draw closer to you. Yes, Lord. Bless each and every one of them. Father, as the life we're given is so short, let them and their footstep hasten to do the work that you have called them to do. Yes. Protect them from the evil one. Yes, Lord. Guide them in the name of Jesus. Break every chain that binds them in the name of Jesus, will you bless them with untold and unsearchable riches of your grace, we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's show our kisses to sister. Receive. Receive them. Grab them. Grab them. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. At this time, our... Women's Department President, Sister Sharon McDonald, will be coming with a special announcement. God bless her as she comes. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord, everyone. Bless the Lord. 
Let me hear a hallelujah. Let me hear a thank you, Jesus. Let me hear a hallelujah. Let me hear a thank you, Jesus. He's worthy to be praised in everything that we do. Amen. First, I want to greet my pastor, Pastor Robert A. Young, and our assistant pastor, Pastor Erica Young, Pastor Reyes, Pastor Forbes, Minister of Saints, elders, visiting friends, saints. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As Sister um, Maureen already stated, our Women Alliance will be April 25th through 27. Can I hear all the ladies shout, Women Alliance 2024? sound like you mean it. <laughs> Say Woman Alliance 2024. One more time. On our theme will be connect for kingdom advancement. Say connect for kingdom advancement. Connect for kingdom advancement. And I'm looking for <laughs> I'm looking for all the support from all the ladies. I know a lot of ladies not here today, but when we have a conference, what is the conference about? Or who is the conference about? It's for us, for all the ladies. It's for all, all the ladies to get involved. Because it's all about the kingdom. Amen. Amen? So I'm asking everyone, please have this date in mind, April 26th through April 27, and please be a part of this great, great, great adventure that we are looking forward to experience. It will be a great experience. And on the Thursday, we will be having online service. When we say online, we're gonna be in the sanctuary, but we're gonna be on Zoom. So I'm asking, all the ladies, men included also, Hallelujah. To, be <laughs> to be in the house on Thursday, the 25th, where we will have our online service. We will have regular service, we will have praise team, praise and worship, we will have prayer. So come in and anticipate a move of God. Amen? Amen. 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 And on the Friday, on, let me step back a little bit. Our theme for Thursday will be rooted in personal devotion. Amen. It will be rooted in personal devotion. Remember, we ladies, we have our tea party, and her theme was rooted in faith. Yes. So during our conference, I throw out our topic, and they try to include our topic with rooted in personal devotion. Yes. Because some of us are having some problem in with how can we stay focused in this world when so many is going on? Yes. So I throw that out. So they come up with a subtopic rooted in personal devotion, which that will help us to move forward in our faith Amen. in God. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's good. It's good. And on Friday, our subtopic will be yielded. Will be yielded. And our speaker for Friday will be Lady Tiffany James. So we know we're going to have a great time. And on Friday, and on Saturday, sorry, sorry, let me back up a little bit. On Friday, Togak and Heavenbound will be doing praise team. They will be in charge. So right, Sister yeah. Kizzy will be in charge on Friday. Sister Scott, she will be the moderator for Friday also. All right, all right. So please support, please support. Amen. And on Saturday, starting at 10 a.m., we will have our topic for fr Saturday will be connect to kingdom relationship. Connect for kingdom relationship. And that's Saturday. Amen, Amen somebody? Amen. 
That's in the morning, and in the afternoon, our subtopic will be connect to service. Amen. So I'm asking every ladies, please, please keep this date in mind. We're in for a move. This is not just victory or fate. It's all of us, and we're in this together. Amen. So I'm asking everyone to put this on your calendar and try and make Togak shine. Amen. 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 And also, after service, I would like to meet 10 minutes with the ladies All right, to it. discuss other arrangement or engagement that we have to commit to. Amen. Yes, Sister Dowie. Okay, service on Thursday is 7.30. Friday, 7.30. Saturday, we start at 10 a.m. And we, we break, and then we're going to go back 1.30 to 4.30. So, so there's, no there's no night service. Is in yes, in the sanctuary, but gonna we're gonna be online. So it's gonna be regular service, but they want us. We are planning to come in, come in, and the Wednesday before we're gonna have a 24-hour prayer. Pastor will talk to us more on that, leading up to the conference, so we can get ourselves in tune for worship. And saints, we are in for a great move. Amen. It's not about who, it's about the kingdom of God. And we're all here for the kingdom. So let us come in, let us worship, and let us, I mean, when we have social life, we do everything, we put everything in it. Right. So let us come in this and put everything in it because Amen. it's all about God, it's not about us. So at the end of the day, God will get the praise, God will get the glory. Amen? Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can we all stand and give God a praise? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I know we have said a lot earlier of the announcement, but we are here to give God praise and to give him glory. What kind of church is this? What kind of church is this? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we are getting ready to give. Hallelujah. And, <laughs> and as we, before we give, I just would like to uh, speak to you guys concerning why we give. And I'm going to read from Malachi 3 and verse 10, and it says, Bring all the tithes into the storehouses, so there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it in. The Lord said, Try it and put me to the test. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. So we're going to give today, and we're going to give unto God, not unto man, but unto God. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. Ushers. Oh, our ways of giving, as we see it, um, cash up. It's dollar sign my togak. We have the Zell. And it's my togak at gmail.com. We have the machine at the back, and we also accept cash. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. In the rock, I'll hide. In the shadows, I'll abide when the storm.
on, church. Ah, ah, oh, in the rock, in the rock, ah, ah, on the hide in the shadow, in the shadow, right above. Oh, come on, Zion, when the storms fly, I'm raging over me in the rock. Shadow in the shadow, in the shadow, oh, when the sun, when the stars are light, I'm raging over me in the rock. Praise the Lord! Oh, God, praise the Lord! Somebody give God the praise, somebody give God the praise. Does anybody here want to be a part of a great miracle? Amen. Anybody want to be part of a great blessing? Amen. All right, last week we started a project from 1 to 100. We got about 40 envelopes left. And I want you to come up and take one of them. There's nothing higher than $89 there. And in about, let's say, in the next 60 days, you're going to see a miracle. Amen. I'm not going to tell you more than that. So if you didn't get one last week, you can come and get one. I know everybody's going to look for the lowest number that's left. That's all right. As long as they all go. Our visitors are welcome to take part because you want to be a part of this miracle. You want to be a part of this blessing. Amen. If you take an envelope, please let Sister Simone know. Sister, all right. Bishop Rowe, I see that number. Let me see that number, Bishop. You need a Bishop's number. That's a good number, Bishop. Amen. Praise the Lord. We got about 20 left. Amen. Come and take one. I got a 35 here if you want 35. Sister Paula, take a nice number, man. Amen. 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 They're going. They're going. They're going. In the, we're still hiding the rock. In the, we're going to sing again. They're almost done, brethren. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Brethren, you're going to love this miracle. Scotty. You get your miracle already, right? Yeah, mom, I know you get your miracle. I up, I up, up top. Amen. Praise God. Someone say up top, up top. Amen. Amen. We only got 10 more. Glory be to God. 35, 83, 82, 71, 94, 90. Wow, this thing got some 90s. Amen. Amen. Sister George, you're a 90 girl. You're a 90 girl, George. Yeah. Amen. Come on and praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. When we're done, we're going to be collecting $5,050. And that's going to go towards this miracle. Man, you're going to love this blessing. Amen. Honduran man. A amen. That's right. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. We got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen left. CJ, need to get one of the miracle envelopes? He got two. Number one and two. All right, then you, you need to bring this back by next week. Next week, next week, next week. The latest, next week. Amen, amen. I see, I see, brother, brother. If you want to turn it in, turn it in to sister, sister Simone. Can I share something with you? Everything that happened in the Bible with the children of Israel, they did it together. They built the temple together. They got wood from abroad. But let me tell you, when they were building that tabernacle in the wilderness, the people took off their earrings, took off their gold bangles, took off their, their chain foot, their nose rings. All They took off everything. They brought their household gold, and they brought them, and they built the tabernacle. God always asks you to be a part of your own miracle. Can I get a witness? You don't believe me? Uh, Sister, Sister Sue, when they wanted wine, did the wine drop from the sky? Somebody had to bring the water. Now, Jesus didn't ask you for the wine. Woo, God. He, he, he asked you for what only he can turn into something greater. So you're given 100. God says, I'm going to turn it into 10,000 or a million. Let me tell you, brethren, this pastor here preached a message two Sundays ago. He's talked about when... Uh, 
Joseph told his, his uh, dream to his brothers. But sometimes, amen, you got to tell your dreams because you got to let people know where you're going. And the only way you're going to get there is through God and his power. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got ten more. Amen. All right. We are going to pray for the offering. Now, if you already have yours, if you brought it, please give it to Sister Simone. We'll record it. We got ten more. We're going to leave them there. By the end of the service, if you feel moved of God to come, we're going to leave them. We want all of these to be gone by the end of the service. So if you already have one, can you get another one? Absolutely, Sister Sophia. Can come and take two. Praise. I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. Gan is going to come and take another one, too. You got four? I love these people. I got the best saints this side of Georgia. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some, who wants to come and take another one? Donnell, you want to come take one? The lady in purple? I feel a, a pull from the back. Yes, yes, yes. Take one for Olivia. Amen. Amen. One more. <laughs> One for Curtis. Amen. Glory. Brother El Peter, you remember the Lord blessed you so much last year. You should take three. You should take all of them. Look what the Lord had done for you, brother. You can't take one envelope. Amen. Amen. Olivia is coming for her mama. She just took one. She didn't even look at the number. Amen. We got three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight more. Amen. Sister Paulette, your husband said come. <laughs> Amen. Brianna, you coming? If you move, I'm going to bring you. It's like a fish caught on the hook. Glory be to God. Uh, Brother Deacon, oh, she's coming. She's coming by faith. <laughs> Amen. We got a great word that's going to come. Hey, listen, 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 listen. You can change it. You can change it. We got six more. Amen. 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 Uh, I just feel like they should just all go right now. I just feel that like they should just go. If, if there's one person who wants to take all of them. Say so there's only five left. There are 100 envelopes and we have 95. Isn't God good, brethren? Somebody give God the praise. Isn't God good? All right. Before the service is over, um, by next week or the latest, the last week in this month. Amen. That's the latest, latest, latest. Amen. So we thank God. Please stand, everyone. As the praise team gets ready to come after we pray. Can we give God thanks for Deaconess Elect Tasha Stewart? We have two members who are now in training to be ordained. Um, missionary elect Sharon McDonald. Can we thank God for her? She's our woman's president. And Sister Tasha is our usher department president. Praise God. Last night, sometime, Israel was attacked by Iran. 200 missiles rained down in Tel Aviv. 200. Thank God for the Iron Dome or there will be thousands killed. Let me tell you something, Bridget. The coming of the Lord is nearer than we think. And if there's one thing that's going to get us through this is we have to get through it together. Can you hold the hand of the person beside you? We're going to pray for this offering. Amen. As we give, we give to the kingdom. And the purpose of this money is that soul be saved in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we stretch our hands to this offering. We thank you for those who have given. And we pray that you bless these gifts. And even for the miracle offering that we're collecting, we pray that those who give will give from a willing heart. Not, oh God, of constraint, but willingly. We thank you for what you're doing in this church and what you shall do. We pray for Israel right now in the peace of Jerusalem. We pray against the powers of darkness that have risen up against your people. We pray, oh God, that you push them back. Silence the guns of Tehran in the name of Jesus. I pray for strength and 
and angels to be released in Israel right now as they stand, oh God, I pray that they stand in faith that, oh God, they'll be supported by not only the United States and the allies, but by the armies of the living God. I pray in the name of Jesus for Israel today that your power will cover them. Let there be no harm. Let there be no danger to the citizens, oh God, and those who name the name of Christ because they are your people oh God you died hallelujah for them you came from among them oh God the land is yours the land you gave to them to Abraham Isaac and Jacob nobody can change that the world wants to give us another narrative but the word of God is true and we stand on the written word oh God we pray for them we pray for the peace of Jerusalem today in Jesus name can the church say amen Hallelujah. Before the praise team comes, we have a very good friend of or preacher today who is none other than Deacon Lee Mark Johns. Can we give it up for one of our deacons? Amen. Deacon Johns is a graduate of ATC and also I think King's College. Amen. Amen. And uh, he is going to bring a word to us today. And his old mentor and friend is here and his wife and we want bishop roll to come and greet us at this time as is our custom in brief amen and let's bring us a greeting from his church and his family who are here can we celebrate bishop roll today is this the bishop roll we're praying for prayer line people this is bishop roll you can come on up sir you can come a strong man Where's red? <laughs> Amen. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you. God bless. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. Oh, come on and come all the way over here, amen, to sit down on God, amen. I'm not just speaking tonight, but amen, I came to give God a praise and to celebrate Jesus with my friend, with my brother from the other mother, amen, somebody. I wish I had a witness that God is good all the time. Can somebody say amen? Come on, say amen again. Come on, if you really believe it, lift your hands and say Thank you, God, for being who you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't come for this. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just thank God for the honor, the privilege, the opportunity to stand before such a beautiful congregation of people. Amen. That shows love for my brother. Amen. I'm here. I'm here because I love this man. Amen. 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 God placed this man, this man, this is a good man. He placed him in my life when life was lifing. Can I say that? He placed him in my life when life was lifing. And in that placement, I found out that even when life was lifing, Pastor, God was still Godding. He placed him in my life to help God me through the terrible time that I was going through. Amen, somebody. But this is proof. This is proof that God is who God is. If you trust and believe him, he'll turn it around for you. I, I just wanted to leave you with that. No matter what it is. Ray Ray, Pluki, Shaniqua, Shanene, it don't matter who, what, it is, if you turn it over to Jesus, he'll turn it around for you. Hallelujah. Pray my strength in the Lord. Can we celebrate Bishop Rowe? Amen. Sound like the man got a word. Praise the name of the Lord. Can we thank God for him? Amen. And uh, his wife, his beautiful wife, and I believe daughter. Amen. Thank God for you for being here. Amen. Truly, we thank God for our visitors. Sister Sue invited her sister, her better looking sister. Amen. Amen. And is that your brother-in-law? 
and your brother-in-law. We thank God for you. And our regular visitors who are here, thank God for you. This is a family church, as you can see, where we love everybody. And we want you to know we love you. We love you. We love you. Because greater love hath no man than this, than a man laid down his life for his friend. We live in a wicked world where people turn on each other like the crab in the barrel. But in this house, we support one another. When we go through hard times, we support one another. When things are down, we support one another. Are you hearing me today? We got to stand up for each other because the world will eat you and spit you out. So before the word, Brother Lemar, I'm going to just introduce you now. We thank God for you. Uh, I can see you have grown. Over the years, we've had the prayer line. If there's one brother who's been on the line apart from me is Deacon Lemar Johns. He supports this ministry with his giving. He supports the ministry with uh, his time. He was ordained a deacon in this church when he came. He, he only came for one thing when he came to this church. He had his eyes on the prize, and it wasn't Jesus. <laughs> but then he got, he got the prize plus Jesus in this house. <laughs> Amen. She's not here today. Amen. But we celebrate him. Brother Lemar, we love you. The ministers, we love you. Amen. And um, he, has been, he has become a Jamaican. He's not quite got the patwa down yet, but he's going to get it. And we want to hear what God has to say through him. So this time, let's receive the praise team as they give us a sermonic hymn in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Because I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Cause your name is power Your name is healing Your name is life Yes it is Break every strong Break every strong Shine through Shine through the shadow To break every stronghold, break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over fear and all. Anxiety to every soul held captive by depression. I speak Jesus, cause your name is power, your name is healing. Yes, it is. Your Break every stronghold, break every stronghold, 
shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Cause your name is power. Yeah. Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Every stronghold shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Shout, Jesus, from the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus, for your family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Come on, help me sing, shout Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountain. Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness. Jesus in the darkness over every end. Jesus for my family. Jesus in the street, Jesus in the street, Jesus in the darkness, over every enemy, over every enemy, Jesus for my family, Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus, shout Jesus, shout Jesus from the mountain, Jesus in the street, Jesus in Jesus in the darkness, Jesus in the darkness, over every end. Jesus for your family, Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name, Jesus. We gotta do it one more time. We gotta do it one more time. Shout Jesus! Shout Jesus from the mountains. Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the dark. Break every stronghold. Break every strong. Shine through the shadows. Shine through the shadows. Burn like a fire. Burn like a fire. Let's do it one more time. Cause his name is power. Your name is power. His name is he. Your name is he. His name is love. Your Shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Break every stronghold. Echo the Mahashata. you come on open your mouth and shout Jesus receive Deacon Lemar as he comes before Jesus. he comes please stand everyone I'm gonna ask AP to pray for Deacon Johns and she greets us and prays for him Praise we want Lord to Lord hear Lord. her voice amen amen we want to hear her voice can you stretch your hands to AP and say bless her Lord Say, raise her up, Lord. 
Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name. Jesus for my family. Put that up there. Jesus for my family. Saints, I got a family too. And I'm shouting Jesus for my family. Shout Jesus from the mountain. Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name. Put the verse up before that. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to cause their name is part of the verse before that. Hallelujah. We give God praise. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. I just want to speak the name of Jesus till every dark addiction starts to break. Every sickness, every problem be broken in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. So AP is going to pray and greet us in Jesus' name and introduce or speak. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise, the Lord, everyone. Praise God. Just stretch your hands towards. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Blessed is the name of Jesus. Blessed is the name of the Lord most high. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. I greet you today in the name that is above every name. The name that's keeping me. The name that's sustaining me. Ayobo Shata. The name that is above all conditions. The name of Jesus. And even now, Father, as we stretch our hands towards Brother Lehman, we come in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this access that we can come in the throne of grace. We present your son, your servant to you. You know him by name. You know him by nature. You know his ability. You know his strength. You know his weakness. But we give him to you now, Lord. Take his mouth. In the name of Jesus, speak through him, anoint him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, use him for your glory, use him for your honor, and after he has spoken, we will know God. It wasn't Lemar, but it was the Holy Ghost. Master, you are known to do the impossible. Keto Shai, you're known to do the impossible. Even now, God. Even now, God, let there be a shift in this room. Release your angels and assignment. In the name of Jesus, stand around, Brother Lima. Use him in a mighty way today until we will know for sure, God, it was God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. There is no doubt that God's spirit is in this house. There is no doubt that God is here today. We just raise our hands up to the heavens saying hallelujah, 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 giving God the highest worship that he deserves for he is God and he is God all by himself. He is a God that can do all things but fail. He is a God that speaks. I want to first give honor to our God. I want to give honor to our senior pastor, Robert Young, and to an assistant pastor, First Lady Erica Young, to Pastor Forbes, to Pastor Rez, to the minister, to the deacons, to the evangelists, 
And to the elder, I want to thank God for all of you who are here today. My wife is not here at this time, but I thank God for her in her absence. But my daughter is here today, and I thank God for her. My granddaughter I wasn't supposed to see until next week. She is here today. Praise God. I want to thank God for my friend. I want to thank God for my brother in Christ. Brother from another mother who we have known for over 30 years. Over 30 years I've known this man Bishop Johnny Rowe, he has also came into my life. So therefore, we came into each other life at a time that only God was able to move and speak. If you turn to me to John 10, verse 1, Verse 7, hallelujah, it's not me, it's God. We start with verse 1, verse 7, then we're going to go to verse 14 to 16. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hears his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name. And he leadeth them. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not his voice. Verse 14 to 16. Jesus said, your Bible should be all in red. This is Jesus talking. Yes, sir. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep, and I'm known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so I the Father, and I lay my life down for the sheep. And other sheep, other sheep, I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. This is Jesus talking. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus, when Jesus talked, people hear him. When God talks and speaks, something comes into existence. We are like sheep. The sheep knows his shepherd. You may sit down. <laughs> for the shepherd gives his life for the sheep. And Jesus is talking in this scripture that he is the good shepherd. Haven't he been good to you? No doubt he has been good to you. Our God is a good God. Our God is a great God. He is a God that can do all things but fail. We worship him and we praise him. And that's what he asks for us to do. My topic is, and my subject for this Sunday is, the voice of God. He speaks. Has he spoken to you? When was the last time God spoke to you? 
And I'm telling you right now, he will speak to your heart. He will speak to your mind. He will speak to your spirit. Our God loves you more than you can even imagine. But how many people are listening to what the word have to say? We hear it all day and all around us, even as the pastor was talking about Jerusalem itself, that there is so much turmoil that is going on in this world today, so much stuff that is going on in this world today. We are in the last days. And the scriptures even tell us, look at the signs. We could see the signs. So that means Jesus is coming back, and he is coming back soon because the scripture tells us about the sign. Haven't you heard of the earthquakes? Haven't you seen children turning against parents? Haven't you seen rumors of wars? These are the words that God inspired through prophets. He himself states, in Timothy, he says that all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God, and they are profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That's how God. I got three points. God is speaking a fresh word every day to all who hear. All who hear. Point two. God's voice is a today's voice. He desires us to hear his voice. His presence always accomplishes his voice. His voice will give you the scriptural assurance. The Holy Spirit will lead you to confirmation in his word. Everything that God speaks must and do line up with scripture. No matter what it is, have God spoke to you? All this chaos that's going on in the world, as the sheep hear their shepherd voice, there are many voices in this world today. When you leave the church on Sunday morning, you still have to deal with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Do you realize how many voices you are listening to? But are you listening to the one voice? The one voice that is able to do all things that loves you more than you can imagine, that gave up his only begotten son for you and for me. We live in a noisy world of competing voices. The voice of God came in the Garden of Eden. Why do you think he came in the garden? He came to speak to Adam in the cool of the day every day. He came in the garden of Eden to salvage one man. Yes, yes. Jesus came to salvage all. Man, yes. Oh, he came to salvage all. And he is speaking today. He speaks every day. When you call on your phone and you're talking on your phone, and I know a lot of you, you'll be on the phone sometimes 24-7. <laughs> All that time that you are speaking on the phone, can you imagine calling up God that many times? How many times you talk to Jesus today on the phone? You 
talk all day, your friends, your cousin, your family. But did you call Jesus up? He's a God that you could call up 24-7. And his line is never busy. He's a God you call 24-7. And he says, you could call me anytime. And he listens and he hears you. No man has ever seen God. No man at any time. But they heard his voice. They heard his voice speak. God is always speaking. He always had a people who were guided by his voice. Adam and Eve heard the voice of God. It was sin that made them hide from his voice. Abraham became the father of many nations because he heard and obeyed the voice of God. God said to Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because Abraham obeyed God's voice. Our God is a good God. Abraham kept charge of God's commandments and his statue. We all know about Moses. Moses Moses And when Moses talked to God, God heard from him. We know the story about Moses going up to the mountain. And he was in front of the fiery bush, a bush that didn't consume with fire. Moses heard the voice of God just as the sheep hear the voice of his shepherd. And it was Moses that guided the people out of Egypt under bondage. But before he could do that, he had to hear from God. And God spoke to Moses. And Moses followed God. It must be understood stood and clear that God speaks to us through several means. One of our greatest blessings as true believers, as true Christians, is to hear from God. Because we can speak to him. And he speaks to us. The voice of God is good. As, she as sheep rather knows the voice of their shepherd. It is possible to hear the voice of God today as certainly and as clear as the men of God did back in the days of the Old Testament. And even now in the New Testament, God will talk and he will talk and let you know it was God and it is God and God only that is talking to you. And you must be aware that there is other voices out there. We was in Sunday school today and we was listening to how many voices there are today. And Satan have a tendency and want to take control of your mind. Satan have a lot of demonic spirits out there that will speak good stuff to you. You think it's good. You think it's good. <laughs> it 
It is possible to hear the voice of God today as certainly and clearly as did Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, as Moses, as Joshua, as Job, as Noah, as Samuel, as David did, as clearly and certainly as did Peter, John, the prophets, Elijah, and Elisha, and all the prophets yes. of God. God is real. He is alive. You haven't seen him, but you've seen what God is all about. He lets you know that he is real. Have you ever been sick? <laughs> Call on the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. All that you want or could ever even think of is in the name of Jesus. Who voice are you listening to? There are many voices in this world. You need to know and hear God's voice directly to be able to judge what is taught and right and godly. We have a lot of false prophets out there. Amen. Remember I said, um, Jesus is coming back. The signs are there. One of the signs is there will be false prophets. <laughs> there will be false prophets. And they will talk and it will sound good. But we ourselves must know the word of God. We ourselves must know to study to show ourselves approved unto God a workman that needed not to be ashamed, but rightly divided the word of truth. It is why we must talk to God. Because he's going to talk back to us. He's going to guide us with his voice like he did Moses. Like he did Elijah, Elijah. Like he did Noah. Like he did Samuel. As he did Paul and all these souls that he used as he is guiding you. As he is guiding you. Because you are not here by coincidence. You didn't wake up this morning just to get up out of bed or by yourselves. It wasn't your alarm clock that woke you up this morning. It was the voice of God that said, get up. And just as God had said, get up out of that bed, he said the same thing to the sick when they were sick and laying in bed. And he said, and they were slain in bed, laying in bed, and said, God, God, help me, help me, help me, Jesus. And God said, get up out of that bed. And he does, and he will do the same for you. How do I know? Because he did it for me. It is why we must study to show ourselves approved. God will never speak a word contrary to scripture. All scriptures is given by the inspiration of God and are profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. He will not speak anything contrary to his word. But God hath in these last days spoken. And his speaking, that's why I said when you get on that phone, realize who you're listening to. God in these last days speaking through Jesus Christ himself. Yes. He is speaking to us through his son, yes. Jesus Christ. How many people know that it is Jesus that is alive? He died and he's the only one that got up out of that grave, not Buddha. Not Fu Man Chu. <laughs> Only, Only Jesus. He have overcame death for you and for me. Because he too 
is real and alive. Did you hear the song? He said, I speak the name of Jesus. Goose pimples. Is that the right word, goose pimples? <laughs> Come through my body. Because I know my Jesus. I know what he can do. And I know that he talks to me. And I know that I could talk to him at any time. There is power in the name of Jesus. Many of us value hearing God's voice so much, we have to shut the world out to get alone and wait on God. And by this, a lot of us are on the highways, byways, a lot of us are going here, going there, doing this, doing that. We didn't have time to sit down for Jesus or God to talk to us. So what does God do? He calls something. No, he allows. God don't cause nothing. He allows something to happen where you have to sit down and talk. It's now it's only you and God. And that's when God will talk to you. By having a prayer closet you could go into, you could talk to God in that prayer closet. You could talk to God, a place where there is no distractions. Even as we fast and pray, God will talk to you. He will talk. But are you listening? Are you listening to the word of God? The word is real. The word is alive. The word protects. The word of God directs. The word of God covers. It is the word of God. God must have Christians as us in these troubled last days who are not confused of false doctrine and hearing false prophets. So many false prophets are out there. They talk things. They, they make it look good. They, they beautify it. They um, let the drug dealers have all this money in the beginning. And then all of a sudden, now they're in prison. Oh, that's where God going to talk to them now. God got them now where he could talk. The fact is, God will allow situations to happen. But he does not want you to be confused. That's why we must study to show ourselves approved unto him. We must. And there's only one way, and that's through the word of God. You hear, the, you hear every Sunday, which scripture are we on? You're reading the Bible, you're reading the word. Because this church is a praying church. We pray, we read our scriptures. Because that's the only way you will not be confused to all of that false doctrine. You will not be confused with all of that noise out there. You will not be confused of the life that's out there. There's a lot of stuff going on out there right now that we would have never even thought of that would happen 20 years ago. But you see it now. Who voice are you listening to? The sheep heard their shepherd voice. God's voice can and will comfort you. He will guide you. And when God guides you, he will guide you into all truth. God's word is absolute. For those who don't know what that is. It never changes. Just as Jesus is the same yesterday, he is the same today. He doesn't change. He won't change. His word does not and will never, ever come.
comeback boy. Have you tried it? Have you read it? Have you been in a situation when you picked up your scripture and the scripture, you didn't even know what scripture you want to read. You just turned the page and your answer was right there. Have it ever happened to you? That's God. God's voice can and will guide you into all truth. This is the one great characteristic of a holy people. We are not mistaken about God's voice. Sheep know their shepherd's voice. We know our shepherd's voice. We hear it. We are governed by it. We live it. It is absolute, unmistakable, unshakable. Who voice are you listening to? Through the word of God, this is the most clear and effective way of God communicating with us through prayer. Number one, that's our communication with God through prayer. So for all those who haven't prayed, I recommend you get down on your hand. No, get down on your face. Get down on your face and pray to God. And you are about to see a change is going to come. The Bible is God's word. And... A manual. All scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. He also speaks. Number two. The number one is his word. He speaks through the inner still voice of the Holy Spirit. How many times you walking down the street or you driving your car and all of a sudden say, don't make that turn there. Or well, don't, don't switch over to that lane. And when you and soon when you say some say don't sway, a car came flying past like 80 miles per hour. How many times you walked? I'm from New York City. I walked down some alleyways that I wouldn't even wish my own enemy to walk down. And God said, Don't walk down that alley. That's the inner still voice that's inside you. But are you listening to it? We must yield to the word of God. And we must understand that God is speaking to us, especially now in these last days. Yes. For there is so much happening. I said one, I said two, two through this. And this there are nine special ways. I'm on two, three. Through the advice and counsel of other men and women of God. Yes. You might have to choose someone to talk to from the church. Now, you can't talk to just anybody. Because some people be putting your business out in the street. So you have to know who and who not to talk to. I remember when I first came to this church. Um... I was in Pastor Forbes' house, my wife and I, we went there. And I think that's the first time I cried at her table. I cried like a baby because my wife said, you can speak to Pastor Forbes. I cried like a baby. So now if I'm going through something, I have the advice of counselors. In the church, men and women of God who I know that I can go to, yeah. that I could talk to. I could go to my pastor anytime. I said, Pastor, look, man, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. I need you to hear me. And he would sit down and he would listen. Realizing God hears you too. And when you're speaking to the pastor, there's one and two talking about the Lord and what you're going through spiritually. 
And when there's one or two together, who's in the midst of that? It's Jesus! This is why we can go through advice and counsel of other men and women of God, yes. not just anybody. That's right. That's right. Number four. God's voice comes through the audible voice of God. He heard a voice saying, my sheep hears my voice. You gotta listen. You gotta listen. You gotta listen. God is speaking to so many of us, and sometimes we don't hear what He is saying. Amen. Stop and think. If something came in your spirit and started talking, you didn't know what it was, but it was talking to you, yield to it. It just might be God telling you something. Number five, and a lot of you might not think this happened, but Joseph did. Joseph knew it would happen. God speaks through dreams. God will speak to you through your dreams. God spoke to Mary. God spoke to Joseph, to Elizabeth, in dreams. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, said Joseph. Have the word of God came to you in a dream, and it became reality. Amen. God speaks in dreams. Why? Because he's real. He's alive. We see it right here. We see him. Souls come up to this altar right here for healing. We have seen souls get healed right here. We have seen souls get delivered right here. We have seen men come through that door and head straight over there to that, their baptism right there. The first day they had to, because why? God spoke to their heart and to their spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. God is speaking. Who voice are you hearing? My God, talking to you. God would also speak. Yes. Number six. six. And he's speaking to our pastor about this because God speaks through visions. Amen. And I have our pastor have a vision, and the vision our pastor have, he got from God. And God had given our pastor a mission that is greater than he is. Amen. That Amen. greater than himself. But he is following that oh vision. Yes. We didn't come like this here all by ourselves. Thank you, Jesus. Do you think if I didn't know the word of God and I'd be listening to a pastor and I didn't think he was telling the truth, I go to the scripture and it didn't line up to scripture? Do you think I would still be there? No. But our, our God spoke through our pastor, through the vision. He given him a vision for Togak. And with that vision, we too believe in that vision. Because as God speaks through him, as he walk and he grow, we too, we walk, we grow. Amen. And it's because of that vision he had, he is following that as did Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, as did Moses, as did all the men of God in the Old Testament and now in the New Testament and even today. There are great men out there that is pastoring the word and have a vision for their church. And let me tell you something. The church is not a building. The church is its people. Amen. So when you look, around, when you look out in the congregation, you are looking at the church, God's people. Jesus Christ is the head. And God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit will speak to you. Number seven, God speaks through angels. 
the angel Gabriel rather, was sent from God. And when Gabriel was sent from God, the angel spoke to Mary concerning the birth of Jesus in her and also about her cousin Elizabeth, who was also will have a child at her older age. And after being barren, because she was barren. Do you know some of you women were barren? Do you realize that if you want to have a child? Do you know God has given women and opened up their womb so they can have a child? It's in the word. It's right here in the word. And if you believe the word, you would know. Number eight, God speaks by prophets and word of revelations. God speaks through our circumstances, our situation, and our trials. That's number eight. Now, number nine, and that's why it's important that you listen to Sunday school. You listen to the when you listen to the word that is being brought forth in Sunday school, you listen to the minister, are you hearing what the minister is saying? We had Sunday school a couple weeks ago, and our minister, he uh, mentioned something about um, the children. And children are very precious in God's sight. But do you know that God will speak through children? Do you know he will speak through a child? And he does. My, my daughter, Cece, she has said some things to me that only could have came from the grace of God. And I'm looking for an answer. I'm trying to find this denominator, denomination. And I couldn't find the answer. All of a sudden, and it was spiritual. So I actually, she, answer was right there. She gave it to me. Sometime a child will come up to you and say, Daddy, Mommy, that's not right. And you're going to say, child, please go. <laughs> but the fact is, then all of a sudden, you go in the kitchen or something, and something falls out of the, out of the closet and break on the floor. You cut your leg. <laughs> God will speak through children. Yes. And with that, we know as a church that God speaks through faith. And so many times he has spoken through our circumstances. He has spoken through our situations. And you could talk to God any time about your situation or your circumstances. And God will bring you out of it. The problem that we sometimes have, we can't wait. But let me tell you something. God has his perfect timing. Amen. I've asked God for something one time. And it took 12 years for him to answer me. Wow. But at that time, he was preparing yeah. me. He was preparing me for what I was supposed to become. Remember this, saints. God has a purpose and he has a plan for each and every last one of us. Amen. He has a purpose in your life. He has a, perfect, a purpose in my life. Now, there are hindrances that can cause you not to hear from God. Which voice are you listening to? Distractions. Many Christians haven't heard the voice of God because they are distracted by the fears of this world. Their thoughts and their own actions. You must be able to give your mind, soul, spirit, rest so to meditate on and hear God's voice. Number two, if you're feeling of guilt, unworthiness, or shame, or bitterness, or depressed anger, and beating yourself up, you can't hear from the word of God. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. 
And there are some in here that are that way. My God. But I guarantee you, once you stopped getting depressed, when you wasn't depressed anymore, what happened? Holy. You can and you had a dance when you came to church, didn't you? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The other word, way that you have a hindrance where you can't hear the word of God is because you're always out on the highway looking at TV, radio, telephone, and always too busy. Saints, everyone know, well, mostly everyone know I'm a karate master, right, in martial arts. Sometimes people come up to me and say, hey, I want to start working out. I want to start doing this. I want to start doing that. The first thing I tell them, you have to make time. Yes. So in order to hear the word of God, you have to make time yes, for God. My God. It is why this church is a praying church. This church is a church that reads the Bible. This church is a church that started even the ATC, Alexander Theological College. This church believes in making time so that you and I could walk and grow in God. You've got to make time. If it, you don't make time, it's a hindrance. It won't happen. We must realize that Jesus paid the way so we can come boldly to the throne of grace, to our heavenly daddy God. At any time, our heavenly father not only bring healing, but open up our spirits, our senses to hear him. God speaks. Are you listening? Another way of hindrance, unforgiveness. How many of you haven't forgiven others in your life? Yes, sir. How many? Unforgiving will cause you not to hear from God. Unforgiving, it is releasing that person who hurt you from whatever they've done to you. It is letting God control the outcome of that event. God has forgiven us, and we must forgive others so that God can speak to us. Worry and fear will also stop you from hearing from God. It is fine to carry our concern to God in prayer, but those concerned fears and worry need to be left in God's hands. When the mind is free to hear what God has to say, he may have an answer or instruction from heaven, or God might simply say, trust in me with all your heart and lean not onto your own understanding at all my ways. Acknowledge me and I shall direct your path. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. God is saying, let go. Let God. And that's where the faith comes in. That's when the growth comes in, because through faith you're going to grow. Let God. Let go. For God has his perfect timing. And I guarantee you, saints... When you ask God for something, and when he answered it, there was joy. There was joy. Yes, yes. You felt so much greater than if he would have answered it too soon. But there was joy when he answered it. I have the reason for this subject today. The reason for this subject and knowing the voice of God is... There are many voices of our flesh. The voice of our stubborn will, the voice of the enemy, 
the voice of demonic spirits, spirits of darkness, witchcraft, the voice of this world itself. It is killing people. There were a time in your life, my life, that these voices might have been sweet, gentle, and might have been promising to you. Many people and false prophets have came and talked stuff in your life. And then all of a sudden they start crying, crying out. Crying out to what? All those promises that you thought you had. I had money in the bank. I had money here. I had money there. I had five different banks at one time. I didn't even know what to do with my, well, I didn't even know what to do with it. But let me tell you something. All the money in the world, you can't buy going to heaven. All the money in the world, you can't buy God. I'm telling you right now, when you're making all this money, and when you're doing this and you're doing that, and then the enemy is making things look sweet to you, promising you this and all that, false prophets come in talking to you, say, well, you're going to get this, you're going to get that. It's nothing compared to God speaking to you. Remember, the sheep, they heard the shepherd's voice. And when they heard that shepherd voice, what did they do? They follow. Why? Because everything is going to be all right. You must give time to God. Remember, our greatest joy should be, I heard the voice of God. In conclusion, <laughs> In conclusion, hearing from God is critical. It is critical to us believers to know his voice without a shadow of a doubt and know his will for our lives. One of our mission is to learn how to hear God's voice. We must listen carefully without distraction for his voice through this crowded and noisy world in which we live. Don't forget, we are only in this world. We're not of it. But there's a lot of noise in it. Which, which voice are you listening to? Jesus Christ is still talking to us by Daddy God. He continued to say today that his sheep knows his voice and that another voice they will not heed to or follow. Who voice are you listening to? I say right now, if there is anyone that haven't heard the voice of God and need help in hearing, the altar is open right now. If anyone needs even prayer of any kind whatsoever, the altar is open. There are ministers here that will pray with you and for you. And with that conclusion that I just left you with, remember God loves you so very much that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Believe in God because God believes in you. It's why he put a purpose and a plan in your life. And he's asking you to listen to him so he can direct it. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Is anyone blessed by this word this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The voice of God, which lets me know it's not that God is not speaking. I believe it's what we're not picking up, the signal of what he's saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Touch your servant right now. Oh God, every energy, everything that has gone out of him right now, would you replenish in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Replenish everything that has gone out. Strengthen him. Cover him in the name of Jesus. Let him continue to hear your voice and be strengthened by your word in Jesus' name. If there is something that God has laid on your heart today, if you truly believe that God has spoken to you, it's important when we come into the house of God that we don't allow the enemy to take the word from us because that is his job. It says, today, if you have heard his voice, harden not your heart. Hallelujah. And I believe everyone who got dressed, got invited, came here this morning for a reason. It's not just to warm the bench. It's not just for anything. You came for a reason. You took precious time out of your schedule. Get the benefit of why you came here this morning. The voice of God. He is speaking. Yes, he is. And the problem is, or the question is, are you listening? What has God um, said to you today? Did the word move you? Did the word speak to your situation today? Is there anything in the word of benefit today that you can say, yes, that's, that part is mine? Right now, we're going to go into the mode of prayer. We believe prayer is essential. If there is, before that, I want to just say, is there anyone in the house today that has not given their life to God. Yes, yes. By, by giving your life to God, it means that have you accepted Christ yes. as your Lord and Savior and decide to follow him? Have you gone into the water in baptism? Is there anyone in the house this morning who have not made that decision to let Christ be the head of their life? If you are in the house, and you, are, you want to be baptized today, the altar, you can come up to the altar, the pool is ready, and we will baptize you. Hallelujah. For those who just want general prayers to make the decisions that you're going to make in the coming weeks, the coming month, you can step down to the altar. Everyone who have a need, hallelujah, we're going to pray for you. Everyone who have a need, everyone who have not heard the voice of God, and we want that God can penetrate your hearing. Everyone who is moved, hallelujah, by the Spirit of God, just make your way to the altar. If you have a need, any need whatsoever, make your way to the altar. We'll pray for you because that is what we're here for. We're here to pray. We're here to empower you. And we're here to build you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the word that has gone forth. Thank you for your love and continue to bless the house. We pray, God, that you would cover your people. That they would indeed hear, not just hear, but to do. That the word will not fall on deaf ears, but Lord, as you speak to us, we will hear and listen to your voice. As you said, the sheep hears the voice. And we move to you today. We pray, God, that you would break every yoke of bondage that would block the word, all the hindrances that the minister spoke about. We pray against those hindrances right now that your word will take full access. Your voice will penetrate and will come forth with victory in Jesus' name. 
have your way today, God. We pray, Father, for every person who is in the house. Some may be going through problems and crises. Some may not know what decisions to make. But your word, you have a word for their problem. With every problem, there is a solution. And we believe you died on the cross for us to give us victory, to give us hope in you. Let no one, God, this morning who came in this house be left untouched, but that your word will take full course in their life. Bless their families. Heal those who are sick this morning. We ask in the name of Jesus, those who are traveling to distant places, would you take them to and fro? We pray blessing in the house this morning for your people. We pray for every demonic activities that is holding your people bondage. We break those yokes over their lives, over their mind, in the name of Jesus. Break yokes that is damaging to their minds today. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today. We bless your name, we bless your name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. We're going to say the benediction at this time. Just ask you to stand in the house. Hallelujah. With all hearts clear. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Can we praise the Lord, everyone? Asking him, who are you listening to? That's a very serious question today. Who are you listening to? Because if you're listening to the wrong person, you're going to end up in the wrong place. Who wants to go to heaven? Yeah, some people don't want to go. You'd be surprised. Some people want to have nothing to do with the Christian God because they say we're evil because we don't love everybody, but that's not the truth. So we're going to have, amen, the woman meet him with Sister Sharon right here. All the sisters come right here. Amen. We would like to thank you for your gifts, your miracle gifts. 4749 dollars in pledges. Some people have not yet. So we still have $301 left. So we have four envelopes here for $300. Amen. Uh, Sister Scott, if you want, you just write that check for 301 and that'll take care of all of that. That'd be great. Are you serious? No, you're not kicking, kicking. Kick, kick. No, you, you, you added it up and said it? Yes, sir. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, brother. What a mighty God we serve. Brethren, I want to tell you that God is moving in this house. I just spoke by a word of knowledge that she would write it, and she already did. Isn't God amazing? So this is for this or for you. No, no, no. For the last four. <laughs> 